Okay, this is a video for my Tech 1010 class, the Artificial Intelligence video, with of course Objective 2. Um, and I'm going to explain what AI is and how it's applied in a practical sense to careers, um, materials, and other project products. Um, so first of all, what is AI? AI, according to our book, is something made or produced by human beings that it the, that brings that ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. Um, I've also found another definition online that says that AI is a simulation of human intelligence uh, or of human intelligence processes by machines. Uh, these processes include um, learning, or reasoning, self-correction, and also problem solving. And the best way that I've found um, or a very early example that I found with AI is um, Deep Blue, the chess playing computer that was developed by IBM that beat um, Kasparov in a game of chess. And this computer didn't learn from, it, like it didn't have any memory, so it couldn't learn from past mistakes or past games. But it, what it would do is it would take its moves and the player's moves and analyze it to where it would be the best strategic move to go. Um, and it eventually beat um, Kasparov, I believe in 1990, give or take. And um, I mean, there's several other ways that, it, that it's applied um, nowadays in careers. Um, for example, like playing games like chess is the first example that I could think of. Um, but also in business, you have chatbots um, that will do like a question and answer segment based off of AI. Um, healthcare um, is another example where it set it assesses and um, can diagnose. Um, illnesses um, and can give the best diagnosis um, can also do it a lot quicker than humans can um, in education I'm sure um, you know this where you can use AI to help grade uh, papers or grade assignments and that frees up your time as a teacher to focus more on your students and teaching your students uh, UVU has a great example of how it's applied with the Alex program in the math department um, using AI to better place you in the math class that you should be in. Um, we can also see AI applied in finances. And you see that a lot with uh, phone apps where you can hook your um, bank account to this app that has AI and it will tell you the best way to spend your money, invest your money. Um, one of the best examples that I can think of is Mint. Um, the, the app Mint um, tells you how to invest, how, where you're spending, how you're spending, what your spending habits are, how, like your saving habits as well. Um, so, but it also, but also like TurboTax is run off of an AI bot that analyzes your W-2 forms and all your tax return forms. And then we'll kick out, you know, the number that you'll probably get back from the government on your tax returns. Um, another one that I thought was interesting of how it's applied is in law, and in law, it just there's a lot of paperwork that you have to go through and it's very time consuming, very a very tedious work. And you can use AI to scan through um, those documents and come up with a synopsis of the paperwork, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. I never really thought of having AI involved in um, the law field. And lastly, I think this is the most prevalent one, is manufacturing and um, how you can use AI to manufacture 
um, a car or, you know, in an assembly line. Each robot has its own task to perform, um, and it's, it's a very repetitive task, but they do it proficiently as well. Um, and then, I guess the most popular right now that you can think of is, like in Tesla cars, they use a lot of um, AI in their cars themselves to help correct and lane correct and, um, you know, self-driving um, in, and maneuvering across the road and getting you to your destination. Um, again, there's, there's more to that, which I talked about in an earlier assignment. Um, but yeah, those are the ways that I uh, have found that AI is applied in 